Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Camarina Augusto and I work for the County of San Diego. Due to the current climate of COVID-19, physical distancing is required and there are recommendations for us to do things online as much as possible instead of in person to help stop the spread of COVID-19. So today I'm going to walk you through the Walmart app to show you how to do grocery pickup and delivery. Before we begin with the presentation, there are a few tips I wanted to go over. First, while we are going through this video, I encourage you to follow along on your own device. Second, feel free to grab a pen and paper and take notes throughout this tutorial. And lastly, please pause or rewind this video at any time if you need to follow the process at a slower pace. The first thing you will do is go to the App Store on your mobile device. For Android users, this will be called the Google Play Store and for iPhone users, this will be the App Store. Once you open the App Store, you will press search and type in Walmart Grocery App. Once the app pops up on your screen, you will install it onto your phone. Once the app is installed onto your phone, you will go to the app and open it up. As shown on the screen, it will give you the option to sign in or get started. If you have already created an account, then you will select sign in. However, if you just downloaded the app and do not have an account, you will select get started. Once you select get started, it will prompt you to create an account. First, enter in your information, such as your name, email, and password you create. After you do this, you will then click create account. Now that your account is set up, you will be taken to the home page. If you have an exact item in mind, you can go to the search bar to search for that item. However, if you want to browse through items, you can do this by scrolling through the featured items. Once you find the items you want, you will add them to your cart by selecting the Add button. You can view your cart and estimated price in the upper right-hand corner. On the home page, you can also view your delivery or pickup date, time, and location. Now I am going to give you an overview of the other pages on the Walmart app. The heart that says favorites are items that you really like and want to save for future orders. The next page is departments and this allows you to select which departments you would like to browse, such as fruits and vegetables, meat and seafood, or eggs and dairy. Next is a search page. This allows you to search for any item you would like. The last page says account, and this is where you view and update your account information. Now we will walk you through how to schedule a pickup or delivery date and time. On the left hand side is how you pick up an order. When you look at pickup times, you will first see a list of stores sorted by distance from the zip code you enter. Tap the store location you would like to pick up from. Once you select the store, you will then select an available date and time of when you would like to pick up your order by. If you have an EBT card and would like to use it to purchase your groceries, EBT payment is only available for pickup orders. On the right hand side is how you would have an order delivered. For delivery, enter your address to have the order delivered right to your door. Please note that some addresses may be ineligible for delivery. Once you have entered your address, you will select an available date and time that works for you. To add an item to your favorites page, you will select the heart located on the right hand corner of each item. Once you start adding items to your favorites, they will automatically populate on your favorites page. You can also save your orders to favorites to make it easier to reorder in the future. Now we are ready to shop for items and add them to our cart. For my example on my screen, I am interested in boneless chicken breast, so I will click on that item. A new page will appear where you can scroll for item details and nutrition facts. If I would still like to order this item, I will select the add button to add this item to my cart. To view all the items in your cart, tap the cart in the upper right hand corner. 
If you want to remove an item, simply tap and hold, then swipe left. A red delete button will appear to the right. Tap this button to delete the item. After you have checked all of the items in your cart, you will select the checkout button. After you click checkout, you will be brought to the payment method page. Here you can add a credit or debit card that you want to charge your order to. As a reminder, EBT payment is only available for pickup orders. When checking out for delivery, the EBT option will not be shown. Now it is time to place your order. The first thing you will do is review the location you selected for Walmart pickup or delivery. After this, please make sure that your cell phone number is correct. You can review the time and date you selected for your order. Please make sure that the instructions for no contact pickup or no contact delivery are correct. Next, make sure that the payment method you selected is correct and review all items in your cart. You will also be shown the breakdown cost. Make sure that you are aware of any tax or delivery fees. After going through all of this information, you are ready to place your order. If you have any questions regarding your order, such as changing it or canceling it, you can contact Walmart through the app for customer support. For additional options, such as updating your payment method, you can scroll through the screen. So that is it. We have completed the process. Thank you for your time today. If you have any questions regarding this training or any questions about the Walmart app, we will provide those links for additional help below this YouTube video in the description. Continue to be safe, continue to live well, and I will see you next time.